So in the next 10 minutes, I'm gonna show you how to send an email with Next.js using resend and react email as a template. So I'm gonna show you the complete integration between these three and with the custom domain as well. All right, so let's do it. All right, so first we're going to create next project. You can run this command right here. So after that, we're going to react email. So this is where we're going to write our email template. So for that, let's go into the documentation then go into the manual setups and go to step 2 to install the dependency please copy this one and run in your terminal after that go inside the VS Code so this is the boilerplate from create next apps so right now what we're going to do next is to create a new folder called emails and inside here you can create an email template file so you can name this whatever you want so for now I'm gonna name this one index.tsx and so right here so right now our template is empty so let's go ahead and do the documentation and right here we're going to copy the template so this is the very basic template so I'm gonna copy this one head back and I'm gonna just paste this one right here so let's hit save so the next thing is we're gonna go into the package.json we're gonna add the script to run this one so I'm gonna add the new one it's gonna be email and this one is gonna be email Dave so let's hit save this one. So next go inside our terminal and then so we can run this one. So I'm gonna run npm, run email. So this will install all the dependency that is needed to run uh, your email. So then we can preview this one. So you can see right here, right now it's localhost 3000. Okay, so right now if we navigate to localhost 3000, we should be able to see this one. And right now, as you can see, this is the index file that we just create. So you can click right here. So right now, as you can see, we have the basic template, which is just the bouton that we just copied earlier. And also right here, you can be able to see the source of the code right here as well. All right, so right now we're going to update this template right here. All right, so for that, we can go back into React Email documentation. We can go inside the example, so you can click on this link. So right here, you can see there's a lot of template that we can use. This is the example. So we have Airbnb, we have apples, so I'm going to copy this template right here. And so to get the source of this one, you can go to the source tabs. And then we just copy this one right here. So right now, let's go back inside our VS Code in the index right here. So I'm going to delete everything. I'm going to paste this one right here. So for the mixing, this one is simplicity. So for now, I'm going just to make change this one to make it work. So for example, right here, the URL image that I need to change and the name right here i'm gonna change this one to the daily web coding all right so let's do that all right so right now i have updated the template so you can see i changed the image url and then i just change this one right here so right now if you navigate back to this one so i can refresh this one right here so you can see right now we be able to see our new template so right here I have the image error so I'm gonna fix this one so I can just change this one to 50 pixels and if we going back so we can refresh this one so you can see this is will be the template that I'm going to send to my user so right here notice that we have the props that right now we accept only the username so for example if you want to send a user with the email such as the link that they can follow and something like that so for here you can be able to pass on the new prop so the link for a string and then so you can pass the links right here as well okay and then right here you need to use this one inside your template but for this one I'm gonna keep things simple so I don't need this one so for now I am going to remove this one right here so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to create an API that be able to send this template to our user all right, to send an email to the user, we're going to use the resend. So resend is an email provider where we can send the user the, the email. It is very easy and simple to use. So to do that, first we're going to sign in. So right here, you can log in with GitHub or Google. So let's go ahead and do that. So after that, so you will see the onboard screen right here. So this is where you're going to create an API key. And so we can use this one. So you can click at the API key right here. They will give you this API key. After that, inside your VS Code right here, you need to create a new environment variable. 
I'm going to call this one recent API key. So you can paste this one right here. So your API key probably starts something like this one right here. All right. So next we're going to inside our apps right here. I'm going to create an API. And so I'm going to create another one is going to be the mail. And inside here, I'm going to create the route.ts. So right here, we're going to write our API. All right, so next you can go into recent Next.js documentation. And right here, you can first install the recent library. So going back inside our route, the first thing first that we're going to do is to import the recent library, the template that we just created earlier. And this one, I'm going to name this one, welcome template. And the render right here, so then we can pass the template into the HTML. So next we're going to create the recent objects and then we pass the recent API key. And here I'm going to create as as a post request. So then we can send a post request to this one. And from here, so when we can send, so your user can send an email and the username. And then we can use this one to send an email using the recent objects. So you can see right here, this is from, this is where we our recent domain. And this is the email too. The subject is thank you. And so you can change this to whatever you want. And the this one is we're going to choose HTML. And this is going to be render our template. And we're going to pass the username because our template is require the username. So right here, as you can see from the from right here, this is the email from Dev from the recent. So basically, we can use this one for testing and in development mode. And what we use in production, we can change this one to your custom domain. So I will come back and update this one later. But for now, we can stick with this first. So the email right here. So for the testing purpose, the email that you can be able to send is the email that you use to create this API key. So when you use a call from here, so right now we can just use the email that create this API key. All right. So now next we can, as you can see, we have the error. So we can check this one if there's an error. So we respond back the user with an error. Else we, if do not an error, so we can send them the message email sent successfully. Now we hit save this one. Now we go in our terminal. So I'm going to run npm run dev. So you can see since the port 3000 is used by email. So this will run on localhost 3001. So now we can send the API to this one and test it out. So for test this one, so I'm going to use Postman to make the post request to our email API. So here on my Postman, so I call to localhost 3001 and then slash API slash mail. And for our body is going to be JSON and I'm going to use the email and the user first names right here. So right now let's hit send this one. So as you can see, the email is sent successfully. So right now, if we going back here, so you can see this is my email. So we'll be able to see the email that sent. So you can see this is the username that we send. And so right now we successfully send an email using our Next.js API. So right now to set the custom domains, so we can go back inside the resend. So as you can see right here, they also show you the number of requests that we have sent. So since we have sent only one, we have only one. So to set a custom domain, you can go into the domain right here and you can click on add domain. So this is, you can pass your real domain. So for example, if you have any domain, just pass it right here. And then right here, you can choose any regions you want. Since this is not a pro version, so we can choose only one region only. So if you go to pro, you can choose multiple region right here. So after that, you can just click on add right here. For example, this is my domain. I set up it already and I buy this domain from Namechips. So when you set up with domain, Recent will send give you three records. So you can see the MX record, the TXT record, this two right here. So the first record right here will go into the mail setting. So for example, this one if you're using with Namechips. So let's go into the Namechips. So Recent have a documentation on how to set up with Namechips and probably this will apply to any other domain as well. So to, for example, right here for Namechip, go to advanced DNS. So as you can see for the MX record right here, so this will go into the mail setting. Okay. So, and then you can just copy and paste this one right here and make sure you follow this documentation. And for the other two record, so as you can see, 
this txt record right here and it will go into host record alongside for example your hosting as, as well okay so right now if we complete this one so after you set up everything with your domain and the verification may take one or two days or for example in my case right here it takes one day to complete this one all right so right now when you complete this one so we can just copy the domain right here so going back inside our route api right here so we can uh, replace the resend.dev so we can put our custom domain so right here if you don't want to get the reply from the user you can just change this one to no reply and also right here since this is our custom domain so any email right here we can just send to any email that we want okay so right now let's test this one again all right so right here i'm going back to my postman so i'm going to send this one again so this request right here using our custom domain so right now the email has been sent so if we go back inside my gmail so you can see this is the new email that we just sent so as you can see this is from the domain that we just set up and it works the same thing all right all right so before we gonna end this video so we successfully send an email to the user already so everything is work out great but one thing that i want to mention is that so right here we send an email through the post request right here the api right here so one thing that you can do is to first is to protect this api so for example you can do the rate limit on the how many email that the user can make requests and send to the user so because we don't want the user to spam because each email that you send to the user is a money because resend pricing is only be able to send a hundred email per day and if you exceed that it will be I, i'm not sure as well but the best thing is that you don't want anyone to spam to your api you probably do need to do rate limit or for example you can allow only authenticate user to call to this request right here because this is case for example when you to the user when they buy something so this is pretty nice so you can just check the authorization that the only authorized user can be able to call to this post request uh, to this api right here all right so i think that pretty much it on how to do this one so if you want to know how to do rate limit you can check out my previous video so i hope you learned something i hope you enjoyed this video i post the link and everything um, inside the description so all right so see you in the next video